All right, today's video, y'all, we're going to figure out which one of these catfish brand hooks is the strongest. Everybody knows if you've been fishing long enough, a hook, the weakest point on a hook is from the shank to the point. And when you come out from the point and you start pulling out against it like that, you can see that flex. But if you pull straight down on a fish and you got him hooked good, that's the strongest point on a hook. But today we're going to measure the bendability or the flex from the shank to the point. And we're going to figure out which one of these hooks came on top. So y'all can see I've already got a little chart written up and we got the brand of the hook over here on this side. And I measured from the point to the shank and I, I did each and every one of them as close as I could to being exactly the same on each one so we can get a true measurement uh, the best I can do. But point to the shank, this is 19 millimeters for the Mustad, Team Catfish 22, the Gamma Octopus uh, is 22, Eagle Claws is 17, the Gamma uh, Octopus Circle is 23, Chinese Circle Hook is 21, and the Eagle Claw Circle Bait is 20. All these hooks are 8 out except the bait hook. That was a 7 out. Guys, these are the only uh, hooks my Walmart had. So I had to purchase what they had. I weren't going to ride around all town and figure it out. But anyway, today we're going to measure them up. And we'll take number one, the must-have wide gap. And uh, I've already got a little... A little apparatus built you can see my homemade jig here and what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to put 30 pounds of tension on each hook and I'm gonna try to do it the best I can because if I go too slow it's gonna quit reading but anyway we'll try to stay around that 30 to 35 mark it might fluctuate just a little bit and then we're gonna use the micrometer which I measured before and then we're gonna measure the gap and see which one stretched the most at the same amount of poundage, hopefully. So let's get this thing started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the little jig I made up and we're gonna, we're gonna put this in the little jig I made up and we're gonna turn on the, uh, the scale and we're gonna try to go as, as slowly as we can so we don't overshoot it. We'll get us a zero reading. Thirty point two, I believe is what I read. Thirty point two, y'all. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let off. And we're going to take the, the micrometer and we're going to turn it on. We're going to read this in millimeters so it's easy to keep up with. And we're going to measure the, the gap now. Which is 2289. 2289, y'all. 22, 2270, 89. Right at 23. We're going to call it 23. 23. So we're going to put 23. That's 30 pounds of tension. Let's set him to the side. Now we're going to go with the Team Catfish. And I used to fish with these catfish hooks. But uh, they just cost too much, man, when you buy three hooks at a time for that kind of money. But anyway, we'll set him up in our jig. We're going to reset that, y'all. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to zero it out. Here we go. I'll read baby 30.20 we'll call it quits on 30.20 all right and we read the gap on this one y'all like i said this right here is team catfish and she stretched quite a bit you can look at that that stretched quite a bit 
But uh, we're going to say... Thirty thirty two point eighty four. Thirty two point eighty four. So we're gonna say thirty two, y'all. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Thirty two. All right, that's that one. Now we're gonna move on to the octopus. Gamagatsu. This is a standard octopus hook, y'all. Eight off. Gamagatsu, eight out. We'll set them up here in the jig. With no tension, we'll zero it out. And we're gonna try to hit 30 best we can, y'all. Thirty point oh four. Woo! Thirty So we'll take them off the thing. And that one actually looks pretty good, y'all. We got twenty-six point two one. Twenty-six point two one. Gonna call it twenty-six. 26. All right, the next one is the Trocar Eagle Claw. And uh, I've already got these little hooks already set up with a piece of uh, wire from a wire welder. Just give me something to hook it to. So we'll go ahead and get them set up. Turn them on. And we're gonna hit 30 pounds the best we can, y'all. Without trying to overshoot it too far. Thirty point eighteen. Thirty point eighteen. Stretch quite a bit, y'all. Stretch quite a bit. Wow, that's crazy. So we're gonna go back to about where, the, and we've been measuring down the shank, go all the way down to the shank where it starts to make that beginning curve. That's where I've been uh, measuring from with the mic. So we're gonna keep measuring from the same point to the point. So. Thirty-one point forty-eight. Thirty-one point forty-eight. We're gonna call it thirty-one. Wow, that is crazy. All right, our next one is Octopus Circle, and guys, I I fished with them for years right there. Those are some good hooks. Um, I just kind of changed brands. Got tired of spending the money. It's if you ain't hanging up breaking hooks off every now and then and log jams, you ain't catfishing. But anyway, like I said, there's the Gamagatsu Circle. Eight up. Go ahead and get them hooked up in the, the jig. All right, there we go. We're going to try to hit 30 pounds as even as we can, y'all. Thirty point forty six. 
30.46 didn't do too bad 30 pounds of tension on the point itself so we're going to read it and we're going to get 30 30.07 30 so we're going to make this 30 and y'all can see right now that eagle claw trocar or however you pronounce it 17 to 31 she's the worst one so far all right now we're going to try these chinese circle hooks these is what i went to when i let the gamagasis go uh these these circle hooks right here look exactly the same to me and you can buy 100 for about 15 bucks and uh i don't see anywhere they're any weaker than any other hook but this test right here will tell the truth and i haven't done it on this yet so we will find out but i can tell you this I've hooked up in, in uh, log jams and stuff and actually pulled my boat trying to break it free. And the hook come out and look just like that. So these are decent hooks. Oh, I got to get one with a wire on it. Hold on, y'all. I've got one here with a wire. Try to be prepared. So there it is. It's got the wire on it. So we're going to hook it up in the, in the jig. back up where y'all can read it all right we're gonna do 30 pounds best we can y'all all right there's 30 30.36. Whew, it's a lot of pressure. Now remember this this tension is only on the point. That's that's in case if you catch a, a catfish in the tooth patch and it don't go all the way around its tooth patch, just say my fingers is tooth patch, instead of you hooking them like this and you got the strongest part of the point in that, uh, we're representing if if he short struck it or Maybe you set the hook a little quick and the circle hood didn't have enough time to roll over and you caught him on the tooth patch. And then all you're doing is you're springing. I've caught catfish like that. And I've had hooks come out bent and I've had them not come out bent like that. It's just according to how much he hauling you pull on him. But anyway, you can see that one right there stretched pretty good. We're going to get a reading on it. Thirty-two point six. Thirty-two point six. So we're gonna call it thirty-two. Thirty-two. All right, and the last one is a seven-out bait hook, and you can buy these at Walmart, and you get a twenty count for five dollars, I think, y'all. But uh, they're good little hooks. But they only had a seven off. And that's like I said, this is all the hooks Walmart had um, when I went there to purchase different different hooks in eight off. But I did have this one brand in seven off, so I purchased it. But we'll give it a try, y'all. And that right there was a seven off laser shark. So we'll set them up in our jig again. We're gonna give it 30 pounds. Thirty point forty eight. Thirty 
that one didn't do too bad y'all look at that so let's see what we got Twenty eight point forty six. Twenty eight point forty six. We're gonna call it twenty eight. Twenty eight. So we got a difference of uh, eight millimeter stretch. We got uh, what is that? Eleven, seven, seventeen thirty one is what? Uh, twenty four? No, fourteen. Fourteen. 22 to 26 is four. Wow. I might have to do that one again. 22 to 32 is 10. And 19 to 23 is what? Four. So you can see we got we got different numbers for different hooks, y'all. And uh that's hard for me to believe that was a that octopus was a 22 to 26. Let me check that one more time. Let me check that one more time. Here she is. All right. 26. Dude, look at that. The, the Gamo Octopus, not circle, but the Gamo Octopus was the strongest hook. It only stretched four millimeters. And I did it in millimeters just so it's easy for people to keep up in their mind and see how much the numbers was in the stretch. But hey. Eight all octopus is the winner today. I hope this helped y'all. Um, I know it's kind of barbaric the way I got it set up, but as long as it gets the numbers. And we try to measure everything exactly the same. And the, the wires on the hooks, I put the exact same amount of twist on each one of them. So everything could be almost identical in the test results. So, you know, y'all couldn't say, well, he did it this way, he did it that way. But I did the best I could. And uh, today, the $8 octopus, Gamagatsu won. So, hope this helps y'all. Get out there and catch them big catfish. All right, guys. I caught myself in a mistake while I was editing the video. We actually had a tie for number one. We had the must had wide gap was a four and the uh, Gamagatsu octopus was a four. So we had two number ones, we had a tie. And then number two was the uh, Gamagatsu octopus circle. Number three was the Eagle Claw circle bait, which was a seven out. Four was the uh, Team Catfish circle hook. Five was the uh, Chinese circle. And six coming in last place was the Eagle Claw trocar which was, I believe, is most expensive out of all of them, but, uh, besides Team Catfish. But anyway, that was on me, y'all. But we did have a tie. Must have had 8-0 wide gap. Got my Gatsu Octopus, 8-0. So, till next time. Later.